second chance thing. What, what do you tell the guys after that? Yeah, that was uh, just unacceptable. I mean, um, I thought we were soft tonight. I mean, let's be honest, 23 offensive rebounds uh, for 30 points. I mean, Boucher had nine, Birch had six. Uh, and and the, the frustration boiling over was just um, going into the game. This is the number one offensive rebound team in the league of late. Um, every time out in the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, it was just the same thing over and over and over again. And we just refused to do anything about it. I mean, give them credit. They were relentless. They were um, attacking it. But, you know, two words I gave them. You know, I, I thought we were soft tonight, and I thought we were really careless. Our turnovers are just out of control. Uh, we got lucky in Sacramento. It bit us against Golden State. And tonight, 19 for 31. So they scored 61 points on second chance points and turnovers. Who are you going to beat when you do that? Um, and th that was a disappointing thing. We lead 99-93 going into the fourth quarter. At that point in time, they're shooting 42% for the game. So in light of the rebounding and everything, we're still up six. And then the, the fourth quarter was just a, a horror show. So uh, I have to watch the film. I got to figure out uh, what we have to do better, what we have to change. Um, but, you know, that's another fourth quarter. I think it was six turnovers for 11 points. Um, so, yeah, very, 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 very disappointing and frustrating evening. Not just because we lost, but for me, it's always about how you win and how you lose. I did not, did not like how we lost tonight. How much do you think missing uh, Aaron? Zero, times? zero. No, I'm not going to use that. It's, Aaron's a good player. We have, we have a lot of other guys that can go out there and rebound. We have a lot of other guys that can go out there and take care of the ball. We've been one of the best, if not the best, defensive rebound team in the league all season. That, that's why it's so surprising. We have been uh, an elite defensive rebound team the whole year. And, and tonight, for whatever reason, Vic, toughness, um, energy, uh, focus, I'm not really sure. Uh, when you give up 23 for 30 points, I'm sure it's probably a combination of all the above. It's hard to shoot the ball when you turn the ball over. I mean, that's two games in a row. Uh, Golden State closed on a 13-0 run. We had three turnovers for eight points in that stretch in the fourth quarter tonight, six turnovers for 11 points. Um, you know, they, they did a, a good job of um, being really long, switching, showing a crowd. And uh, even when he was open, we were just unable or unwilling to get him the ball. And obviously, he's... Um, our best player, and, and we need him to take more than 13 shots, to your point. Michael, do you have any sense of how kind of the effort plays landed in the locker room, like especially you guys got beat on all those hustle plays, point and shoot attempts, all of that? Do you feel like that stuck with the guys, or do you not have any sense of that? Uh, I think so. I mean, I, I think the message was really loud and clear um, and pretty direct. There's no gray area. I mean, it's black and white why we lost the game. And, uh, you know, I'm not one to sugarcoat things. And I, I told him, I said, you know, tonight, this is not who we are. This is not who we've been. But tonight, as a team, collectively, we were soft. Tonight, as a team, we were careless. And um, I, I just don't like when teams come into our building and just outwork us. You know, like, that's like I said before, Mike. Losing is one thing, but when you get outworked and out, out physical, that, that is a tough pill to swallow. At least for me. Nicola into the game over the Raiders played, I think, the final five or two games in a row where he came in there and just did little litters. I mean, he was a little shaky when he got to the eight minute mark. Has that been his flow of the game? Has that been a purposeful adjustment at all? Or has it been just no, I mean, obviously trying to not run him into the ground these last 15, now 14 games, I believe it is. Um, you know, so he still played 31 minutes. Um, trying to let that second unit continue to develop and improve their chemistry and, and on-court uh, efficiency, if you will. Um, but, yeah, it's obvious, I think. I don't know if it was to start, Matt, but early in that fourth, it was a 15-3 to three run. And, and when the wheels are falling off, as we've seen it for seven years, I, I just got to get him back in earlier um, and, and let him hopefully calm us down. All right, appreciate it, everybody.